Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. So hello parents and toy collectors, it's your good pal Oz and today we're going to be reviewing junk bots. So no, we, last time we opened up three, this time we've got four to open up. It's a big uh, four case and it's got four bots inside, one energy module and one motion module. So I've seen the energy module, that's what you have uh, going on back here, lighting up this fellow with all the cables and cords. Um, but the motion module I have never seen, so it'll be cool to check that out. Uh, so we're going to open this up. Uh, oh, let's quickly look at this. So 36 junk bot characters. All you gotta do is unlock the chain, which is this chain here. Uh, search through the trash, discover and build your bot. So I'm quickly showing you the box in case you missed the first video. But, um, whoa, rubbish. So now, I think that's all there is to see. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna open up this big four pack, build whatever robots there are in there, and uh, then we can review them, see if they're any good, have a little play around. Um, and go from there basically just to see if you like them if there's something you want to get for Christmas or just at all at any time because it's gonna be Christmas tomorrow so you're probably not gonna see this video in time <laughs> but yeah if there's something you're interested in then we can see it now and if this video gets 40 likes then I'll build all these junk bots I'll bust them all up and build a giant junk bot in it so uh, yeah let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button if you want to see that now here we go so the lids open the chain is off here's the chain here it's nice and rubbery you can use these padlocks in the characters I worked out last time because I've got the little ball joint there so uh, we'll use that in one of the characters as well now here we go the lid is off so you can see there's all this trash in here we got a pizza box that's a new one uh, we got milk containers very cool yeah, some breakfast cereals more breakfast cereals we got some Chinese takeaways, very cool. Uh, box of, oh no, baby's diapers, and it looks like it's all soiled. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm probably spending, gonna be spending just as much time on the rubbish than the actual toys. Uh, big kind of box. Uh, this one came in one of the other ones and it had like the diapers and other things packed inside. Um, and then lots of rubbish bags, but these rubbish bags are gonna contain useful things. Um, and what's this? This is. Uh, instructions so this kind of gives us a clue what robots are going to be inside uh, we'll have a look in a second and then this I think is uh, it looks like a newspaper but then there's also useful instructions um, on how to do I uh, how to use the motion module and the light module uh, the bottom one's a light module how you put all the cables in it um, but then the motion module what do you do there you have to put a battery in if it doesn't come with batteries um, oh yeah and then you put that little cog bit into the little cog bit in some of the bodies and that should make it move well okay well I, I, it's probably better just to do it than to look in instructions so let's move that now we'll open up some of these bags how should we do it yeah we'll just tip all the parts out I'm just gonna move the camera so you can see there we go tip all the parts out we got more bags let's look at some of the big things we've found and then we'll start assembling them one at a time so what's this this is like some big like an air conditioner maybe hmm which way would it go like that I don't know what this is could be a busted TV without the screen on yeah, I don't know what that is. I keep wanting to flick the switch. Um, okay, we got another TV screen. Very cool. And you can put a light module in the back and it lights up all these panels. Uh, looks like you can put a motion module or, or is that what it's called? Motion module? Energy module. There you go. Uh, and, oh no, motion module. Yeah. In the back there to make him move. Does he have one? Yeah, he's got one too. Um, we've got a, whoa, I'm throwing it around. We've got a letterbox. Does it open? It opens. Yes. That's very cool. Nice, um, again, motion mod module and energy modules can plug into this guy. Probably so you can open the lid and then like light would shine out, that would be rad. And now another one, what could be a head or a body. Uh, and looks like it'll be great for a light module. It looks like a microwave maybe. Nice, okay cool. So that's like the main big chunky bits. I also see a radio that could be a head uh, or a body. And then what's this, a little safe that could be a head or a body. 
I'll probably make it a head because it looks like it's got two eyes. Um, oh, this is the light module? Yeah, light module. Okay, cool. Uh, then where's the energy module? Let's just dig that out. Here it is. It's so little for what it does. Okay, let's see if it comes with batteries. Yes. Okay, now let's just quickly put it inside something just to see how this works before we get building. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it vibrates. Oh, look at that. Everything's moving. So if you had other parts attached it to there, they would spin around. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's quickly grab something. A harpoon. We're at the harpoon gun. Push that in there. Now let's test it. Whoa! It's like a helicopter. <laughs> That'd be very hard to aim. Okay, now let's take that out. We'll quickly try it in something else. Here we go. We'll try it in this microwave looking thing. Okay, now. Three, two, one. Hey, nothing. What happened? Okay, maybe I put it in too roughly. Let's try again. Ah, oh, oh. There we go. It's just a bit tight. There we are. <laughs> nice. So imagine having a light module in there. Hold on, maybe we can pull off both. Light module and I'm totally doing this out of order, but it will be awesome. Light module. Hold on, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing here. Light module going in there. Oh, it doesn't light it up enough. We need all of them instead of just one cable. But no, anyway, that's very cool. Let's just, let's just build these robots and then we can play with those things after. Turn off that light module. One of my light modules, I don't think it's going to be working. It's not this one, but um, I noticed the light was on in the box one night. I turned off the lights, time to go to bed, and I saw glowing in the corner was one of these junk box, junk bots boxes. So <laughs> at one stage, one of our lights isn't going to be working because it's been running for weeks now. Anyway, so what we'll do is um, I won't do what I did in the last video and have you guys watch me slowly kind of fuddle together robots. I'll just do it as like a, a thing where it's suddenly built. So what we'll do is uh, we will build, let's choose one, Scorpio. So I'll choose build Scorpio. So I'll be back in a moment moment. Okay, now here we have our first junk bot for today. His name is Scorpio. Here's a picture of him. He kind of turned out pretty good. Uh, the hard thing is that these um, pictures aren't the best for uh, assembling them. It's just two kind of images like from different angles of the character and some of these pieces are tiny. So it makes it hard to kind of find out uh, what parts are exactly and also because there's no color it's hard to work out which parts are exactly the parts they need but uh, we got there in the end and if anything is wrong like if I chose like that I couldn't find an iron like in the picture See how the picture has an iron? Uh, that's the closest thing I could find. So maybe later I'll find the iron and I can swap him around. But for now I had to substitute it with whatever that thing is. Um, and he's got this cool, I have never actually checked it out, but he's got this cool thing at the back here. Oh, there we go. If you rotate that, it goes back and forth. If we're feeling, feeling there's more to it. Well, it came off. Feeling there's more to it than that, but uh, yeah, if you rotate that, it seems to do a lot, but <laughs> I don't know how to do it. So there we go, we'll put that there, let's stick this back on his bum. Okay, there we are. So there is our first one, this is Scorpio. Now, next one we will build, I haven't quite looked at these yet, but we'll just do it as we go, is uh, Ollie. Okay, he looks cool, he looks kind of cute, this guy. So he's on a skateboard, got a TV body and a radio head. He could be my favorite one so far, because he looks awesome. Anyway, I'll quickly build him, then we'll check him out. Okay, now here we have our second robot for the day, and so far my favorite out of all the ones I've built. Uh, this guy's pretty rad. Let me just quickly show you this guy. I like this guy too, but yeah, so far Ollie is my favorite. 
because um, he stays together the best, I guess is the best word for it. Like these robots are very awesome for building um, and for posing and maybe putting them on display once you've made them, but they can't move so much without their parts coming off because they get a little bit complicated. Whereas this guy, he's got a simple arm, simple arm, oh he's got two joints there, but his legs are a little bit complicated, but they're staying together pretty well now. But yeah, most guys, as soon as you start moving them around, things start falling off. Whereas Ollie does not have too many complicated joints or weird angles they have to go on. And he's cute, so I like him for two reasons, I guess. But yeah, he's very cool. So here we have Ollie. I won't put a light module or motion module in yet. I'll wait till I have everyone built, then we'll play around with those. But uh, very cool. I love his big eyes. He reminds me a little bit of Wally, -E, but this guy's name is Ollie. Maybe Ollie. I don't know. Anyway, there we go. So there's Ollie. We'll put him over here. Ah, I found the iron as well for um, the first guy for Scorpio. So now he's got his proper iron. Um, but now let's move on to the fourth one. And it is going to be someone with wheels. Surge. Okay, cool. So where was his body? Okay, this, so this must be some sort of computer mainframe. That's what this thing is. So you will build Surge. I think he's got a safe for a head. And then some other things happening on top. Lots of wheels. So yeah, he'll be the one we build next. So let's do it. Okay, now the second one we have is Surge. So this guy is looking awesome. He reminds me a little bit like uh, TikTok from The Wizard of... No, Return to Oz. Uh, which is a creepy movie. Very cool, but very, a little bit creepy. Uh, <laughs> and there's a character on that called TikTok. Uh, which is like an old army general robot who is kind of seized up and being put in a cupboard and Then they bring him back to life and he looks a little bit like this guy doesn't have wheels though But he does carry a little lunch box around or a lunch pail But yeah, something about him reminds me of that now We're gonna try out the motion module on this guy because I, I know I said I was gonna do it last but this looks pretty awesome like it's made for a motion module So let's test them out Okay, got to get the angles just right. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, we have success. He is rolling. See you later, buddy. Let's bring you back. Okay, hold on. There we go. I can I can tell the little cogs inside are struggling to rub together. Okay, is anything rubbing? No, just got to get it. Just right. Okay, there we have it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> we have partial success. It was working for a while. I don't think the um, power in these energy modules is so strong that it can um, turn all the little cogs inside and still push his weight. Oh, there we go. Maybe the wheels are bunged up. Let's check all the wheels. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, one of the wheels was on sideways. Not on sideways, just not on straight. Nice. Okay, there we go. <laughs> There's Surge off to battle or wherever he's going. Okay, now let's turn off that energy module. Okay, nice. So there, there we have Surge. So that's our second, no, third one of the video. And again, the, the, the body is very strong, which I like. But when it comes to the arms, oh, there goes a wheel. Um, when it comes to the arms, they ain't so good. See if this guy, his arm kept falling off when I was trying to build him. Um, it's not so bad now. We're, we're having some success now. But yeah, trying, trying to like actually like play with these guys and have like an active story would get a bit frustrating because their arms might keep falling off. Um, they're doing okay now. You've just got to remember to be gentle. That's all. And that's just kind of what happens with so many parts because this is like four joints, no three joints. It's got a shoulder joint, that little pole there in the middle and then this at the end there. Um, so yeah a lot that can come out of their little sockets. Um, but there we go. There's Surge. So we got three down, one left to go and we're gonna have a lot of extra parts by the way. Um, but the last one is, whoa, Bubbles. Cool. So he's got like some sort of wheel for an arm. <laughs> he's got like a flipper. Oh, that bunny shoe. I've already used him on um, the first robot. Oh no, on uh, this little red, red guy. He's got the bunny shoe, so his shoe must be somewhere around. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll build Bubbles now and see how he goes. He's got a mailbox body and a 
Kind of like an os 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 oscillo no oscos oscillation scope. <laughs> like I, I don't know. But you see them at hospitals a lot. Um, let me know in the comments if you know what this thing is called or can pronounce it. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll build this guy now. Let's do it. Okay, now that was the final one. We have bubbles now all made up. Uh, looking cool. I think I was able to stick pretty well to the design in this. But as I'm doing this, I'm really realizing that these guys would be more suitable if you just, well not more suitable, but just as suitable if you just kind of built them your own way. Because uh, yeah, there's lots of times where I had to like choose the weird joints that they've put here. And I was like, that's not the best way of doing that, but, but maybe it looks cooler. But uh, yeah, like I chose not to put this big thing sticking out of his back because um, it would just make him fall over having all that weight on his back. So yeah, when building these, just use them as a guide, but don't think of them as the only way you can build these guys. I think it's just so that you have four characters to build at the beginning and then you can just like play with them however you like, like bust them up, build 10,000 different types of uh, robots using all these parts. See, I didn't even use the red, uh, red electric guitar, electric keyboard, I don't know what you call that. It's a little bit of both. Uh, we can stick it on his head. No, we can't. Um, but yeah, there's heaps of parts left over as well that never got used. Um, so we still have lots of different ways we can do things. What's this? This is a little bug. We're just gonna put it on his face. There we go. Bug into his face. Nope, it's not meant to go there. Okay, <laughs> there's nowhere for this little bug. It's like a starfish. But yeah, anyway, there's lots of pieces left over. There's a full turd, if you're into full turds. <laughs> but um, there we go. So that's our four guys we have made, just using the instructions for the guys here. Hey, I never found Ollie's other foot too. Maybe this is it here. Yeah, no, I never found his foot. There's a few other things you could use to replace it, but it is weird. He was meant to have a... Like a slipper, like that little one down there at the my fingernail. But yeah, I never found it, and I still cannot see it. So that's weird. It's weird that he's missing a slipper, but maybe it's in all of these rubbish bags. Who knows? And now, before we finish, there's one last thing we have to do: is quickly check out these light modules. See, because we've done the the movement modules on a few guys, I haven't done it on this guy. But um, now that I know how strong it is, I don't know what exactly. Oh, there we go. It spins that little and turn it around. Or did it just die? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there we go. So that's what it does on that guy. Let's quickly try it out on the others. So we've tried it on him. On this guy, I think it's just gonna make his head spin around, but let's do it. Nope, wrong one around. Okay, three, two. Let's just move everything out of the way. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, that's creepy. <laughs> okay, cool. And this guy has a shooting cannon too. Let's try it. Uh, okay, does it shoot? Maybe it wasn't pushed in. Oh, there we go. Not pushed in. It's a bit janky how it doesn't like stay in. Okay. I have a feeling they intended it to shoot. But, uh, oh wait, there we go. Three, two, one. Yes. Okay, we got a shot out of it. Very cool. Um, now let's try, we've got one more guy. I think this fellow we haven't tried the motion energy module on. I don't know what it's gonna do. Spin his head around? Spin his feet? Oh no, that's right, he had the fan in his chest. No, we have tried this guy out. Well then the last thing is the light module. Let's quickly do that. Uh, I've gotta put these in here, the little tubes. You can just put one tube or two tubes in, but we'll try to do all three. Maximize the power. Is the light working? Yes, okay, good. Um, now we'll try him out with the mailbox, maybe? See if you can open up the lid and have some light come shining out. So put that in there. There's only one hole for the light module, so I don't think this guy is gonna be so powerful, but let's try it. Okay, light. Is it gonna, oh, there goes his head. Now, oh, there's a little bit of light inside. <laughs> okay, not so effective there. This guy, back of his head looks like it's just made to be lit up. So one, 
two, and we need one more. Where's the last one? There it is. One, two. Stick that in. Stick that in there. Okay, now let's see it. So, and this could attach to his back. Okay. Now, how cool is that? Okay, the light module is awesome. You could also have made one of these go down into his body. Like so. It doesn't light it up so much, but uh, yeah, still very cool. Another reason why he's my favorite is he lights up the best as well. And let me know if you like this video. And like I said earlier, if I get 40 likes, I'll build a giant robot out of all of these junk bots we have here. We'll try to make one big one. I, I can see it happening. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. But guys, I hope you have a great Christmas. Have a great week. Take care of yourself. And I will catch you later.